Hey, welcome to Brando Consulting. Tips and tricks for setting up Fishbowl for the first time. In this video, we're going to look at creating a new database, and I'm going to use the Sample Manufacturing Business database in QuickBooks to do this. So, first of all, to create a new database, we'll go down here to the server, and we'll stop it. Right now it's running the example database called Bicycles Unlimited. So we'll, we'll turn that off and we'll go to options or tools options and then click the green plus sign under the database tab. Click the green plus sign and then we'll type in the database name. So we'll say this is Sample, oh, this is one tip is it doesn't allow any spaces. So sample manufacturing underscore from underscore cookbooks. There we go. We'll click connect. And this is the first decision you have to make. What costing method do you want the database to be in? Do you want it to be Average costing, standard, FIFO, or LIFO. I've honestly never met anyone that's used LIFO. A lot of people gravitate towards FIFO. Uh, manufacturers, of course, about half of our customers are on standard costing if they're manufacturers. Um, if you're not sure what you want, I would go with average. And I always recommend when you first start using Fishbowl to just use a practice file anyways. Don't rush it. Don't jump to going live right off the bat. Um, there is a way to change the costing method. Uh, you don't want to do that generally in a live file, especially in the middle of the year. Um, but when you're just kicking the tires and testing it out, um, it's okay to, to change the costing method in a, in a practice file. So for what we're doing, we're just going to go ahead and go with average costing and let it do its thing. It's creating all the tables and putting all the all the default data in like uh, the default locations and um, some default units of measure and there's there's a lot involved in creating a new database. You want to give it a little bit of time and there we go. We've got a new database. We'll click OK. Database connection has been changed. All right. Click start, starting the new database, and you'll see here sample manufacturing from QuickBooks. So let's go ahead and log into that. I'll click on Fishbowl Client, and this is just the server administrator here. So now we're going to log into the client. And this is a nice little introductory tutorial. I always skip it. Um, I guess when you're first starting Fishbowl, it, it's, it's good to go through it. Um, this company information actually will pull over from QuickBooks automatically, so you don't have to put too much into that. And it always wants you to change the password when you're first starting out. So I like to just change it to 123 when I'm creating a new practice file. And click Finish. And here's our new file. If we go to, um, excuse me, set up company, you'll see we've got a blank company and no part numbers, no product numbers, no customers, no vendors. We've got a clean, fresh slate. So join me for the next video in connecting to QuickBooks. I, I could do that right now, but I really feel like it's an entirely different topic. And there's a lot to think about when you're connecting Fishbowl to QuickBooks for the first time. And I think it renders some, some attention. So thanks for joining us today at Brando Consulting on creating a new database.